Hello Gender people, welcome back to the channel. Today we will talk about wood. An important point here to note is uh, this was not a promotional video from Beavercraft or anything. I bought this with my own money just uh, because everyone was asking me how to get wood and I wanted to make sure that there was some sort of way to get decent wood at least in Europe, for having more people entering this magnificent hobby that we have. Where do I get my wood? I guess this is a thing that we all struggle at the beginning, where to get wood, especially basswood. The answer that I usually give to everyone is that I'm lucky, I have a friend of a friend who has a wood workshop and then this old guy just cuts wood and then it's here in Sweden, and he doesn't ship or anything, it's just... I don't even know the name of the guy. It's my friend basically last time got wood for me, all the amount of wood that I have. The only thing that I know is that he gets his lint from Germany, and that's it. I don't have any more detail. All that to say, I'm sad that every time my answer is always I can't help you to get wood because I get it from uh, a friend of a friend. But, in that regard, Beavercraft, which is from... Where are they from? Ukraine, I think? Yeah, made in Ukraine. Uh, they have these kits. Uh, they have a couple. I decided to buy two different ones to give you an idea about their product. I know that Brian from Carving is Fun rated the bass wood from Beavercraft like a 7 out of 10, or like the, the best of Amazon, or something like this. I know that at least it will be a way for you to get wood, if it's good. One thing for sure is that I will probably not buy more of that, because first and foremost I have a giant pile of wood that I want to use anyway, and then secondly it costed me around 350 crowns to buy the wood, then 350 crowns of shipping, then 350 crowns of value-added taxes on top of it. So. That's a lot of money, and then it's way cheaper for me to probably poke that old guy again at some point when I ran out of my 520 pieces. Anyway, uh, let's talk about that. <laughs> As a person named Roy in my comment pointed out, it's really interesting that he called this basswood made in Europe. This makes no sense because basswood is Tilia Americana, which is literally only available in North America. So I don't know if they bring the, the wood from North America all the way to Ukraine. If not, they should probably call that Linden. But anyway, it's just semantic at this point. So, um, yeah, I bought two sets. Um, I don't remember which one or what, but packaging is pretty cool. They also uh, have links to their uh, YouTube channel. So I will just open this 16-pack. Uh, I think it's all the same things so let's open this uh, and yeah that's that's 16 one by one by almost six almost almost six okay i see a little bit of knots here and there like here for example but uh, this seems soft I, I like i like the touch of it it smells pretty good. Okay, so yeah, this box, this one here, is the 16 uh, one by one by 6 So I will probably cut them in half and make two carving, because I don't think I will ever carve anything that it would be one by one by 6 but we'll see. And the other one that I have, there's a couple of two inches in there. Oh. <laughs> it came with a pattern? Look at that. Nice. So that's the same thing, and there's also these, oh wow, hmm, that's uh, interesting, that's a knot there, and that, uh, well, I could make a really big viking out of that, this is heavy. What do we want to know, right, is, is it good, the wood itself, I'll put my glove, of course, so I stopped my knife just before this, and uh, yeah, let's go. Not bad. It seems a bit rougher than what I have. So this is the piece I usually have. Yeah, it's... Uh, the, w the wood that I have is way softer. That's good to know. Let's make another try, of course. It's to cut... The best way to know if your knife is sharp <laughs> is to cut the end grain. So... 
Well, that works really well. No problem whatsoever. So what if, let's make a little line here. Let's do a little head really, really fast. One by one is uh, pretty small. It's a bit harder than what I have, but it's not, it's not that bad. Anyway, just carving along, making a big nose right here. It works. So, moral of the story, is it good? 100%. Yep, works really fine. If you don't know how to get wood, you can probably get that. I can easily see myself doing some carving with that. If you can't find any sort of basswood or land, well, I guess this is one way, especially if you live in Europe. I mean, 16 piece of one by one by six, that's 32 carving for me. So yeah, I hope it was informative enough. We will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.